Good afternoon, Southwest Florida. I'm Bree Walling. This Naples Herald lunch break is sponsored by Conditioned Air, the comfort people since 1962. This afternoon, we'll tell you about a frustrated Governor Scott, a late season blizzard in the Northeast, and more. Today is Tuesday, March 14th, and this is the lunch break. Governor Rick Scott is frustrated with the Florida legislature. At an event on Monday in Bonita Springs, announcing the state's job numbers, Scott sounded off on a vote by the Florida House which would eliminate Enterprise Florida, the state's economic development arm. The bill passed by the House by a vote of 87 to 28, including several representatives in Southwest Florida. Scott mentioned all of them by name, urging Southwest Florida constituents to ask them to explain their vote. Scott has been at odds recently with Land O'Lakes House Speaker Richard Kokorin on Enterprise Florida and Tourism Marketing Program Visit Florida. Scott has repeatedly defended both organizations, calling them essential to continued job growth in Florida. Reportedly, Florida added 50,700 jobs in January. Scott pointed to Bonita Springs-based Herc Rentals, a former subsidiary of Hertz, as an example of the importance of Enterprise Florida. The program received $23 million in state funds in 2016, significantly less than the $250 million Scott requested before last year's session. Read more at Naples Herald. Florida Senator Marco Rubio says Snoop Dogg should not have shot a toy gun at a clown dressed as President Donald Trump in a music video released over the weekend. The video shows Snoop shooting at the Trump character with a gun that releases a flag with the word bang. Rubio tells TMZ that Snoop should not have done that, citing previous assassinations and other attempts. He adds that if the wrong person sees that and gets the wrong idea, you could have a real problem. The video is for a remix version of the song Lavender. Do you think that he took his artistic expression a little bit too far? Sound off with your thoughts at NaplesHerald.com. You may want to stop by the beach today as appreciation for not having to deal with the late blizzard hitting the northeast right now. A storm expected to drop more than a foot of snow pounded the northeast today, paralyzing much of the Washington to Boston corridor after a remarkably mild February had lulled people into thinking the worst of winter was over. The powerful nor'easter grounded more than 5,000 flights, closed schools, and prompted dire warnings to stay off the roads. Blizzard warnings were issued for parts of Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Maine, and Vermont. The storm was expected to unload 12 to 18 inches of snow in the New York area with wind gusts up to 55 miles per hour and a sloppy mix of snow and freezing rain for larger portions of PA and New Jersey. The National Weather Service's office near Philadelphia called the storm life-threatening and warned people to shelter in place. Coastal flood warnings were in effect from Massachusetts to Delaware. Read more at NaplesHerald.com. And that was the lunch break for today. I'm Bree Walling. The lunch break airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. right here at NaplesHerald.com. And don't forget to check out our morning report that also airs Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. Thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.